I bring word, sire. There are demands from the Banorn that you step down from the Regency. They are said to be gathering their forces, as are your allies. It appears it will be civil war after all, despite the Darkspawn. Pity. I also have an interesting report. There seem to be Grey Wardens who survived Ostagar. How, I don't know. But they will act against you. I have arranged for a... a solution. With your leave. The Antivan Crows send their regards. An assassin? Against Grey Wardens, we will need the very best. <laughs> <laughs> and the most expensive. Just get it done. Thank the Maker. We need help. They attacked the wagon. Please help us. Follow me. I'll take you to them. wake up dead, or not wake up at all, as the case may be. But I see you haven't killed me yet. Of that I have no doubt, you are most skilled. If you haven't killed me, however, you must have kept me alive for some purpose, yes? <laughs> it is my way, or so I am told. Let's see then. I assume you kept me alive to ask me some questions, yes? If so, let me save you time and get right to the point. My name is Zevran. Zev to my friends. I am a member of the Antivan Crows, brought here for the sole purpose of slaying any surviving Grey Wardens, which I have failed at, sadly. I can tell you that. They are an order of assassins out of Antiva. Very powerful, and renowned for always getting the job done, so to speak. Someone went to great expense to hire this man. Quite right. I'm surprised you haven't heard much of the crows out here. Back where I come from, we're rather infamous. Not precisely. I was in the neighborhood when the offer came. The crows get around, you see. A rather taciturn fellow in the capital. Logan, I think his name was. Yes, that's it. I wasn't. If I had succeeded, I would have returned home and the crows would have informed your Logan of the results, if he didn't already know. If I had failed, I would be dead, or I should be, at least, as far as the crows are concerned. No need to see Logan then. I have no idea what his issues are with you. The usual, I imagine. You threaten his power, yes? Beyond that, no, I am not loyal to him. I was contracted to perform a service. <laughs> Why not? I wasn't paid for silence. Not that I offered it for sale, precisely. Loyalty is an interesting concept. If you wish, and you're done interrogating me, we can discuss it further. Well, here's the thing. I failed to kill you, so my life is forfeit. That's how it works. If you don't kill me, the crows will. Thing is, I like living. And you obviously are the sort to give the crows pause, so let me serve you instead. 
To be completely honest, I was never given much of a choice regarding joining the Crows. They bought me on the slave market when I was a child. I think I paid my worth back to them plus tenfold. The only way out, however, is to sign up with someone they can't touch. Even if I did kill you now, they might just kill me on principle for failing the first time. Honestly, I'd rather take my chances with you. I happen to be a very loyal person. Up until the point where someone expects me to die for failing. That's not a fault, really, is it? I mean, unless you're the sort who would do the same thing. In which case, I don't come very well recommended, I suppose. Why? Because I am skilled at many things, from fighting to stealth and picking locks. I could also warn you should the Antivan Crows attempt something more sophisticated, now that my attempts have failed. I could also stand around and look pretty if you prefer. Warm your bed. Fend off unwanted suitors, no? See? I knew we could find a common interest. Or two, or three. Really, I can go all night. So, what shall it be? I'll even shine armor. You won't find a better deal, I promise. What? You're taking the assassin with us now? Does that really seem like a good idea? Hmm. All right. All right. I see your point. Still, if there was a sign we were desperate, I think it just knocked on the door and said hello. Welcome, Zevran. Having an Antivan crow join us sounds like a fine plan. Oh, you are another companion to be, then? I wasn't aware such loveliness existed amongst adventurers, surely. Or maybe not. We're taking the elf? Oh, fine. Fine! <laughs> I see standards are just falling down all over the place. <laughs> I see. Are we now supposed to engage in some manner of archetypal dwarf elf banter, my friend? Nah. I hereby pledge my oath of loyalty to you until such a time as you choose to release me from it. I am your man, without reservation. This I swear. How did a child survive that? The crater is still smoking. It's a boy. Five fingers, five toes. That's all that matters to me. The Maker has answered our prayers. Let's go home, Marta, and raise the Tyke as our own. You! You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. Oh, you're a Grey Warden, are you? Prove it. So I'm not good enough for you. Fine. See if you get into the tower on your own. That dark-eyed temptress over there. Surely the tower would be far too dull for her. Because it gets a little lonely out here sometimes. And, you know, you could just leave her with me. Oh, excellent. I have been hoping for new prey. Prey? It'll take but a moment. Perhaps you should go aboard the vessel to prepare while we are away. We must row ourselves across. I fear the lad will no longer have the use of his limbs or his eyes once I am done with him. Oh, well, um, maybe I, I should, um... Wonderful! I can sense his terror. Oh, that will make the loving all the sweeter. So, you said you wanted to get across. Maybe we should go now, right now, now! Come along, I suppose. And I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. The doors are barred. Are they keeping people out or in? Now we wait and pray. I don't have time to entertain visitors. Well, look who's back. A proper Grey Warden now, are we? Glad you're not dead. Perhaps. Now we're dealing with a situation that doesn't involve you, Grey Warden. I shall speak plainly. The tower is no longer under our control. 
Abominations and demons stalk the tower's halls. We were too complacent. First Jowan, now this. Don't think I've forgotten your role in Jowan's escape. I have sent word to Denerim, calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. The mages are probably already dead. Any abominations remaining in there must be dealt with, no matter what. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. If any are still alive, the Maker himself has shielded them. No one could have survived those monstrous creatures. It is too painful to hope for survivors and find... nothing. I assure you, an abomination is a force to be reckoned with, and you will face more than one. Ah, oh, that arrogance hangs about you like some fell cloud, doesn't it? If you succeed, I would owe you much, enough that I would pledge my Templars to your cause. Without word from Denerim, I must determine our course. Surely destroying Darkspawn is a worthy goal. A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one until I have proof that it is safe. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide. Return to the tower? Why did the Templars let you through? Are you here to warn us? The Templars have barred the doors. They will only open them if they intend to attack us. Is that what is happening? <sighs> they sent for it then. I feared they might have. What else could they do? So Gregor thinks the Circle is beyond hope. He probably assumes we are all dead. They abandoned us to our fate. But even trapped as we are, we have survived. If they invoke the right, however, we will not be able to stand against them. If anyone could survive this, it would be the first enchanter, Irving. It was he who told me to look after the children. It's a long story. I erected a barrier over the door leading to the rest of the tower, so nothing from inside could attack the children. You will not be able to enter the tower as long as the barrier holds, but I will dispel it if you join with me to save this circle. Yes, even if we cannot eliminate all the demons and abominations, together we could lead the survivors out. Once Gregor sees that we have made the tower safe, I trust he will tell his men to back down. He is not unreasonable. Petra and Kinnan will watch them. If we slay all the fiends we encounter on our way, none will get by to threaten the children. You want us to assist this preachy schoolmistress? To rescue these pathetic excuses for mages? They allow themselves to be corralled like cattle. Mindless. Now their masters have chosen death for them, and I say... Let them have it. I could be here had my mother not shielded me from the Templars, so I am to show sympathy. My mother often said that things are the way they are because they could not have been any other way. I always questioned this. Do what you wish. I care not. Petra, Kinnan. Look after the others. I will be back soon. When? Are you sure you're all right? You were so badly hurt earlier. Maybe I should come along. The others need your protection more. 
I will be all right. Stay here with them. Keep them safe and calm. Your confidence is refreshing, though you should make sure it does not blind you to your weaknesses. If you are ready, let us go end this. I am sorry that your homecoming has been marred. Still, it is good to see you back, and I am glad you survived Ostagar. You heard about Loghain. I would never have imagined the Tairn a traitor. Wynn was at Ostagar. She told us everything upon her return. But why speak of things past? Be careful in there, and stay safe. Oh, it's you. I remember you. The tower isn't how you remember it, is it? I keep thinking this is our punishment for being mages. That's why the Templars have to... to do away with us. No, don't say that. It's not true. You deserve to live just like anyone else. The swords are like the... the sword of mercy that sent Andraste back to the Maker. Andraste only died because of man's foolishness and pride. We need to atone for this. We should let the Templars come. Only then can we be cleansed of our wickedness. I will pray. May we abandon our tainted bodies to find peace with the Maker. Look after her, will you? I don't know if she's up to this, especially not after... I just worry. I was on my way down to the library when I heard screaming and a demon came around the corner. Its eyes were afire with evil. I was certain it was my death come upon me. I think I screamed. I was so afraid. And then Wynne was there, in front of me, shielding me. It was light and fire, blood and chaos. When it was over, the demon was dead. But Wynne wasn't moving either. I was so afraid she was... gone. As I moved to help her, she stirred and coughed. I don't know what I would have done if she had died for me. Just look after her, all right? She might be completely fine, but then again, maybe she didn't come away from that totally unharmed. Thank you. And thank you again for helping us. Here we are. <laughs> I'm somewhat amazed at myself for having kept it in place this long. It made me very weary at times, but I had to stay strong to keep us safe. Be prepared for anything. I do not know what manner of beasts lurk beyond this barrier. Are you ready? All right. Be on your guard. Please refrain from going into the stockroom. It is a mess and I've not been able to get it into a state fit to be seen. Yes, it is I, Owain. You remember. I was trying to tidy up, but there was little I could do. The stockroom is my responsibility. I must keep it clean. I tried to leave when things got quiet. That was when I encountered the barrier. Finding no other way out, I returned to work. Oh, Wayne, you should have said something. I would have opened the door for you. The stockroom is familiar. I prefer to be here. I would prefer not to die. I would prefer it if the tower returned to the way it was. Perhaps Nial will succeed and save us all. I do not know, but he came here with several others and took the litany of Adrala. But that protects from mind domination. Is blood magic at work here? I do not know. Nial was in the meeting. He would know. Blood magic. I was afraid of this. Blood magic could control us, too. Who knows what could happen then? We should find Nial. The litany will give us a fighting chance against any blood mages we encounter. I wish you luck. Perhaps this will be over soon and things will return to the way they were. Goodbye. 
Please, please don't kill me. I know I have no right to ask for mercy, but I didn't mean for this death and destruction. We were just trying to free ourselves. Aldred told us that the Circo would support Loghain, and Loghain would help us be free of the Chantry. Don't you remember what it was like living here? The Templars watching. Always watching. We thought someone always has to take the first step, force a change, no matter the cost. Nothing is worth what you've done to this place. And now Aldred's gone mad, and we are scattered, doomed to die at the hands of those who seek to right our wrongs. What else can I do? I'm trapped here. Thank you. The Maker will surely turn his eyes on you for your mercy. Let's get started. Are the demons gone? Is it safe? I, I don't want to, to die. If you're sure it's safe, I could take a peek outside. Yes. Oh, I have a crick in my back and my bum's gone numb. Oh, holy maker, look at this. Those demons didn't know what hit them, did they? Godwin, mage of the Circle of Ferelden, at your service. Oh, not as pleased as I am that you came along when you did. There were demons everywhere, blocking my exit. I decided that the best thing to do in that situation was to hide and be very, very quiet. I just really want to be somewhere safe. I think I might stay here for now. Maybe go back into my closet for a little while. And go where? The Templars have locked the door. I'm just going to stay here and see what happens. Thank you again for saving me. May we meet again in happier, less life-threatening times. Everything is just as you wanted, my knight. Our love and our family is more than you hoped for. Do you hear something, love? It is nothing, my darling. Just the door. I will get it. The children have finished supper. Tuck them into bed while I see who it is. Don't be long. The children will want to kiss you goodnight. I will be but a moment, my pet. You are intruding upon a loving, intimate moment, and I dislike disruptions. Happiness is bewitching. There is a certain power in all things mortals delight in. I have given him what he always wanted. Where is the harm in that? All emotion is intangible. You cannot see it, cannot grasp it. But it is normally caused by something real. Real events, real people. What you've done to him is... is abhorrent. I saw his loneliness and longing for a family that loved him. She's feeding off his innermost desires and taking away his will. This... this is unholy. No one else would have known his heart. He did not know it himself. You do not see what I see of him. You do not know. We are partners. I give him what no one else can, and through him, I experience what it is to be mortal. What happiness! He has gone through life empty, resentful of his vows. You would return him to this? I want nothing from you. I have what I need. All I ask 
is that you leave us alone. Perhaps we will escape. Perhaps we will not. Then you leave me no choice. Help! There are bandits at the door! They're going to murder the children! They will not get past me! On it. Oh, look. Visitors. I'd entertain you, but too much effort involved. He's just resting. Poor lad, he was so very, very weary. You want to join us, don't you? Wouldn't you like to just lay down and forget about all this? Leave it all behind. Can't keep eyes open. Someone pinch me. I will not listen to your lies, demon. You... have... no power over me. Resist! You must resist! Else we are all lost! Why do you fight? You deserve more. You deserve a rest. The world will go on without you. Ah, there you are. I'm not disturbing you, am I? You've been at Weishaupt for some time now. Do you like it here? The Darkspawn are gone, remember? You were there in the last great battle. It was a triumph for all of us, bringing down the Archdemon and setting the underground lairs ablaze. Foolish child. I have given you so much and you cast it back in my face. Can you not be content with the peace I offer? It seems only war and death will satisfy you. So be it. Have your war and your dark spawn. May they be your doom. Blessed art thou who exist in the sight of the Maker. Blessed art thou who seeks his forgiveness. I beg you, do not disturb the girl's meditations. Revere Mother, I do not know this person. I'm sorry, but I... I don't know what you're talking about. Please do not vex her. She needs quiet and solitude to calm her mind and heal her heart. Isn't real? I don't understand. There's something familiar about you, and I find myself trusting you, as odd as that may sound. This is your home, your refuge. Do you truly wish to leave the comfort of this place behind? Stay and know peace. There is no need. I carry the peace of the Chantry in my heart. You are going nowhere, girl. I will not permit it. No, she is ours, now and forever. Holy Mayha, she, she was a... Oh, my head feels heavy, like I've just woken up from a terrible nightmare. I believe we had some task to accomplish. Let us be on our way. Wait, what's happening to me? Hey, it's great to see you again. I was just thinking about you. Isn't that a marvelous coincidence? This is my sister, Goldana. These are her children, and there's more about somewhere. <laughs> We're one big happy family, at long last. What are you talking about? Well, Alistair, is your friend staying for supper? Say you'll stay. Goldana's a great cook. Maybe she'll make her mince pie. You can, can't you? Of course, dear brother. Anything for you. You're acting really strangely. All right, if it makes you happy. I... It's a little fuzzy. But that's strange. 
Alistair, come and have some tea. No. Wait. I remember a... tower. The circle. It was under attack. There were demons. That's all I really remember. Are you saying this is a, a dream? But it's so real. Of course it's real. Now wash up before supper and I... Something doesn't feel quite right here. I... think I have to go. No, he is ours, and I'd rather see him dead than free. G G Gold... Danner? I can't believe it. How did I not see this earlier? Yes, uh, well, try not to tell everyone how easily fooled I was. Are we going now? Wait, where are you going? What's happening to me? Hey! Maker, forgive me. I failed them all. They died and I did not stop it. What about all this? How can you say that when you are faced with this? Death. Can you not see it? It's all around us. Why was I spared, if not to help them? What use is my life, now that I have failed in the task that was given me? Leave me to my grief. I shall bury their bones, scatter their ashes to the four winds, and mourn their passing, till I too am dead. Your blatant disregard for the souls of the dead strikes me as being utterly inappropriate. I do not know what you are trying to tell me. Why must you make this more painful? And where were you when this happened? I trusted you as an ally, and you were nowhere to be found. I do not know what this will accomplish, but I will do this if it will satisfy you. It is difficult to focus. It feels as though something is stopping me from concentrating. I've never had so much trouble. Perhaps some time away from this place will help me think clearly. Don't leave us, Wynn. We don't want to be alone. Holy Maker, stay away, foul creature. Stay, Wynn. Sleep soundly in the comforting embrace of the earth. Do not fight it. You belong here with us. No, 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 not yet. My task is not yet done. It is not time yet. Come. Come away to your rest. Is it over? Thank the Maker for you. Wait, what's happening? Where are you going? What do we have here? A rebellious minion? An escaped slave? <laughs> my, my, but you do have some gall. But playtime is over. You all have to go back now. Oh, here I am. And there you are. You just disappeared. Well, no matter. You tried to keep us apart. You led us from each other because you fear us. Don't you? You will not hold us, demon. We found each other in this place, and you cannot stand against us. If you go back quietly, I'll do better this time. I'll make you much happier. Can't you think about someone other than yourself? I'm hurt. So very, very hurt. You wish to battle me? So be it. You will learn to bow to your betters, mortal. You defeated the demon. I never thought I... I never expected you to free yourself. To free us both. When you return, I... take the litany of Adrala from my... body. It will protect you from the worst of the blood magic. I cannot go with you. 
I have been here far too long. For you, it will have been an afternoon's nap. Your body won't have wasted away in the real world while your spirit lays in the hands of a demon. Every minute I was here, the sloth demon was feeding off of me, using my life to fuel the nightmares of this realm. There is so little of me left. I was never meant to save the Circle, or survive its troubles. I am dying. It is as simple as that. Thank you, but it is too late for me. I do not fear what may come. They say we return to the Maker in death, and that isn't such a terrible thing. My only regret is that I could not save the Circle. But you... You can. Take the litany off my... My body when you return. It is important. I'm not a hero. Perhaps trying to be one was foolish. Dark times, greater acts of heroism, eh? You may be right. Before I was taken to the Circle, my mother said I was meant for greatness. And I would be more than my ancestors could have ever dreamed. I hope I haven't disappointed her. It is time for us both to be on our way. Remember the litany of Adrala. The Circle is all that matters now. Thank you, and goodbye. Friend. This trick again? I know what you are. It won't work. I will stay strong. Only too well. Ugh, how far they must have delved into my thoughts. The boy is exhausted. And this cage, I, I've never seen anything like it. Rest easy. Help is here. Ugh, enough visions. If anything in you is human, ugh, kill me now and stop this game. He's delirious. He's been tortured and has probably been denied food and water. I can tell. Here, I have a skin of... Don't touch me. Stay away. Sifting through my thoughts, tempting me with the one thing I always wanted but could never have. Using my shame against me, my ill-advised infatuation with her. Oof. A mage, of all things. I am so tired of these cruel jokes, these tricks, these... <laughs> Silence! I'll not listen to anything you say, now be gone! Still here. But that's always worked before. I close my eyes, but you are still here when I open them. Don't blame me for being cautious. The voices, the, the images, so real. Why have you returned to the tower? How did you survive? Good. Kill Aldred. Kill them all for what they've done. They caged us like animals. Looked for ways to break us. I'm the only one left. They turned some into monsters, and oh, there was nothing I could do. And to think, I once thought we were too hard on you. Only mages have that much power at their fingertips. Only mages are so susceptible to the infernal whisperings of the demons. This is a discussion for another time. Irving and the other mages who fought Aldred, where are they? They are in the harrowing chamber. The sound's coming up from there. Oh, Maker. We must hurry. They are in grave danger, I am sure of it. You can't save them! You don't know what they've become. But you haven't been up there. You haven't been under their influence. They've been surrounded by, by blood mages whose wicked fingers snake into your mind and corrupt your thoughts. His hatred of mages is so intense. The memory of his friend's deaths is still fresh in his mind. You have to end it now, before it's too late! To ensure this horror is ended, to guarantee that no abominations or blood majors live, you must kill everyone up there! 
Thank you. I knew you would make a rational decision. Rational? How is this rational? Do you understand the danger? I know full well of the dangers of magic, but killing innocents because they might be Maleficarum is not justice. I know you are angry. You know nothing! I am thinking about the future of the Circle, of Ferelden! You may be confident in your ability to stand up to them, but what about the rest of us? Will you protect us from them? No one ever listens. Not until it's far too late. Make her turn his gaze on you. I hope your compassion hasn't doomed us all. Do you accept the gift that I offer? I remember you, Irving Star Pupil. Aldra didn't think much of you then, and I certainly don't see your appeal now. Uh, I suppose one can't be loved universally. I'm quite impressed you're still alive. Unfortunately, that must mean you killed my servants. Ah, oh, well, they are probably better off dying in the service of their betters than living with the terrible responsibility of independence. Wait, wait, wait! Let's not be hasty. I'm trying to have a civilized conversation here. Fight, if you must. It will just make my victory all the sweeter. Don't forget the litany. It will thwart Aldred's attempts to control the mages and win this fight for us. Maker, I'm too old for this. Irving, are you all right? I've been better. But I am thankful to be alive. I suppose that is your doing, isn't it, Wynne? I wasn't alone. I had help. I was surprised to see you standing there, but I am glad you have returned. The Circle owes both of you a debt we will never be able to repay. Come, the Templars await. We shall let them know that the Tower is once again ours. All right, but please hurry. Gregor should be informed of what happened here as soon as possible. Are you ready to leave yet? We should tell the Templars about what went on here. I'll need you to guide me down the stairs. Ugh, curse whoever insisted the Circle be housed in a tower. Irving? Make us breath. I did not expect to see you alive. It is over, Gregor. Aldred is dead. Aldred tortured these mages, hoping to break their wills and turn them into abominations. We don't know how many of them have turned. What? Don't be ridiculous. Of course he'll say that. He might be a blood mage. Don't you know what they did? I won't let this happen again. I am the Knight Commander here, not you. We have won back the tower. I will accept Irving's assurance that all is well. But they may have demons within them, lying dormant, lying in wait. Enough. I have already made my decision. Thank you. 
You have proven yourself a friend of both the Circle and the Templars. I promised you aid, but with the Circle restored, my duty is to watch the mages. They are free to help you, however. Speak to them. The Templars guard and advise, but the First Enchanter has the last word in what happens in the Circle. Please excuse me. And Irving, it is good to have you back. Ah, I'm sure we'll be at each other's throats again in no time. Here we are, the tower in disarray, the circle nearly annihilated. Oh, it could have been much, much worse. I am glad you arrived when you did. It's almost as though the Maker himself sent you. From what Gregor said, it seems that you came here seeking allies. The least we can do is help you against the Darkspawn. I would hate to survive this, only to be overcome by the Blight. We will do what we can for now. But if the Blight spreads, the Tower itself will be lost. Stopping the Blight is more important. You have my word. As First Enchanter, the Circle will join the Grey Wardens in the fight. Irving, I have a request. I seek leave to follow the Grey Warden. Win, we need you here. The Circle needs you. I appreciate the sentiment, Irving. But the Circle will do fine without me. The Circle has you. This woman is brave and good, and capable of great things. If she will accept my help, I will help her accomplish her goals. You were never one to stay in the tower when there was adventure to be had elsewhere. Why stay when I can be of service elsewhere? Then I give you leave to follow the Grey Warden, but no that you always have a place here. There is much to be done here, and I must go. You must forgive me for not being a proper host. Ozama, indeed. <laughs> you have piqued my curiosity. It is common knowledge that dwarves lack the aptitude for spellcraft. She will never be able to weave the simplest magic. No matter how hard she tries. Fascinating. <laughs> I suppose the circle should be flattered. I cannot deny anyone, dwarf or human, the chance to learn. Knowledge should not be withheld from those who seek it. Tell Dagna of Orzimar that this path will not be easy. But if she chooses it, then she is welcome here at the Circle. She will live and study with the Tranquil, and perhaps the apprentices, when it is appropriate. Ah, if only the Circle was in better shape. I fear she may be disappointed when she arrives. This will be interesting. <laughs> she could tell us much about our dwarven neighbors. Yes, the more I think about it, the more I like the idea. I shall take this as an indication that perhaps things are starting to look up for the circle. <laughs> Thank you. I wish you well. No, you will always be welcome here. My men have scouted the tower. It's a mess, but the abominations are gone. You are very thorough. I'm impressed. In no time? Hmm. Doubtful. But it doesn't hurt to be optimistic sometimes. I shan't keep you then. Farewell. Sire. I have more news. Um, yes. Well? 
It seems that the fighting has gone Enough. exactly as you... I would like to know what you intend to accomplish, Father. Should we not be fighting the Darkspawn instead of each other? The nobility should be brought into line and then the Darkspawn defeated. This is no true blight, Anora. Only Kalen's vanity demanded it be so. Beg pardon, sir. But blight or no, we may not have the manpower to face the Darkspawn soon. Kalen approached your legions for support, did he Never. not? Marek and I drove those bastards out! Not roll out the welcome for them now. We need help, Father. We cannot deal with this crisis alone. Ferelden will stand on its own. I will lead it through this, Anora. You must have faith in me. Did you kill Kalen? Kalen's death was his own doing. Hello, how can I... Oh, it's you! And it's been, well, quite a while. Enough time to get to the circle and back, I hope. Oh, please tell me what they said. Ancestors, bless you! I can't believe it! There hasn't even been a dwarven observer in the circle since Yerelden in the 13th century! Uh, I, I, I need to pack. No, my parents would get suspicious. I need to go. Is there anything I should bring? Books? Tuition? Then I should go before my parents come looking for me. If you ever go to the circle again, maybe I'll see you there. <laughs>